My name is Anne-Marie Doherty. I'm a clinical research fellow here at the University of Edinburgh and my research is looking at blood transfusion thresholds in patients with cardiovascular disease. So we know that anemia is common in both acute and critical illness and is well tolerated by the general population. There have been a large number of randomised control trials which have shown that a cautious or restrictive approach to blood transfusion with a threshold of around 70 grams per litre is safe for the majority of patients. However, uncertainty exists for patients with cardiovascular disease in whom the myocardial oxygen supply may potentially be more precarious. No systematic reviews have previously looked at patients with cardiovascular disease specifically out with the cardiac surgery setting and guidelines reflect the paucity of evidence in this area. So we have performed a systematic review and meta-analysis of in-hospital randomised control trials that compared a liberal with a restrictive transfusion threshold and included patients with cardiovascular disease. We were able to obtain data from 11 trials uh, and that included 3,033 patients. So our primary outcome uh, was 30-day mortality and we found no difference in the risk of 30-day mortality between patients who were randomised to a restrictive transfusion threshold compared with patients who were randomised to a more liberal transfusion threshold. However, when we looked at the uh, acute coronary syndrome, we found some interesting results. We found that all trials had an increased rate of acute coronary syndrome in the restrictive transfusion threshold compared with the liberal transfusion threshold. And when we combined these results, we found an overall increased risk of 78% of increased ACS in the restrictive transfusion threshold compared with a more liberal transfusion threshold. This corresponds to 4.6 new events of acute coronary syndrome in a restrictive transfusion threshold arm compared with only 2.7 events per 100 patients in a more liberal transfusion threshold. We found no difference in the risk of acute pulmonary edema uh, or hospital length of stay. So we have found an increased risk um, and of acute coronary syndrome in a restrictive transfusion threshold arm. Uh, in addition to this, myocardial injury could impact on other patient outcomes such as hospital length of stay, uh, patient quality of life and longer term mortality, but few trials measured these outcomes. And these outcomes would be important in future research along with cost effectiveness uh, because even in the liberal transfusion thresholds patients typically only receive two to three units of blood. So in summary we have performed a systematic review and meta-analysis of blood transfusion thresholds in patients with cardiovascular disease and we have found an increased risk of acute coronary syndrome in patients who are randomized to a restrictive transfusion threshold. We believe that this shows that a restrictive threshold may not be as safe as a more liberal transfusion threshold and we would recommend a threshold of at least 80 grams per litre in patients with both acute and chronic cardiovascular disease until further high quality randomised control trials have been undertaken in this population.